Hey. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to the 20th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. What's got up? Jay here with me. Got Yo, Ivy boom. in the back. You already know how we're rocking, man. We're back with another uh, episode for you guys. We're back with more content. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us. Everybody that subscribed, like, you know what I'm saying, shared, hit the notification bell, and is inter- interacting with us, man. We definitely appreciate it for sure. For but um, but yeah, for man, real, we're real. back with another episode for you guys. We're about to spark up, so you know. Roll your J, roll your blunt, pack your bowl, pack your bong, get your torches ready, however it is that you like to get, you know, get nice Eat and toasty. Edibles. I you mean, know, I will kick in by the time yeah. the podcast is done, but Facts. fuck you. <laughs> nah, for real. But yeah, just get it how you live, man. Yo, and don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, if you know, if you like. Thumbs down if you don't if like it. If you don't it, like it, man, whatever, man, just go somewhere else. And then move the fuck on. Yeah. yeah, let us know what you like about it, and if you don't, then have a nice fucking day. Hallelujah. Like but you. yeah, man, um, we're going to go ahead and get into shout out of the day. You know what I mean? Shout out of the yeah. day. Is uh we're shouting out all entrepreneurs, man. Oh, facts. All entrepreneurs. Shout out to you guys. You know what I'm facts. saying? People don't people don't, don't realize Yeah, people don't realize the the sacrifices you have to make to be a successful entrepreneur. Facts. And um yeah, man, we salute you guys. We're right there with you guys. We salute yeah. you. Keep going, keep grinding, don't ever stop. You know what I'm saying? And uh And yeah, all the other podcasts. Guys. Shout out to all the other Facts. podcasts that have followed me on Instagram, Marvelous J420. Shout out to you guys. You know, we gotta support each other. You know, I've been checking out some of you guys' content and I definitely fucks with it. Shout Facts. out to you. Shout out to all the other podcasts and everybody that's, you know, out here grinding like how we are, man. We we are with you guys. But 100%. yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and get right into the first subject that, you know, was something that I wanted to bring up and it's uh are guns important in today's society? Are they a necessity? Are they a tool that you need to have? How do you guys feel about that? I feel yes. I feel because uh, I was watching a YouTube video the other day and the guy in the video said, he's like, it's not guns that are dangerous. It's people like you and I that are sick, you know, and, and have a problem and we go out and kill people, right? You're not going to start having a, a ban on vehicles just because people are now starting to plow through crowds with their cars. You're not going to be like, oh, we're going to take cars away from all of you because people are starting to run into crowds of people. I mean, it's not the fucking they car. They already did that already, yeah. so why didn't they take away cars? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. So if yeah. there are people running, like, it's the same thing with guns. You can't go take everybody's guns just because there's some sick people that are going to do bad things with them. I could do the same thing with a knife. I could do the same thing with a car. I could do the same thing with a bomb. I could do the same... When people want to hurt people, they're going to hurt people. Yeah, they're going to find a way to hurt somebody for sure. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I agree, man. I, I think that guns are guns are absolutely a necessity in today's society, bro. Like, if you don't have a gun... The bad how, guy running in you your house, bro. Yeah, how are you going to protect your family? You know what I'm saying? Because all these gun laws, they don't... They don't hurt anybody but the law-abiding citizen because true. a criminal is going to be a criminal. They're going to go get Facts. their gun regardless whether a law says you can or can't. Yep. So... You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's something that's an, it's a necessity. As fucked up as it sounds, and as much as we don't want it to be, because most people that carry guns, you know, we 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 hope we don't ever have to use it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you you leave the house like yo, I hope I don't have to use this tonight. You know but what I'm saying? fuck you to the piece of shit people that fucking the bad guys, if we want to call them bad guys, I'll, I'll use air quotes for that. Bad people. If you want to run up in my house and I shoot you and I kill you, why should I have to get locked up and pay the price? And it says, oh, well, if they were running outside of your house and you hit him on the outside, you're going to go to jail. I'm going to hit him because he was in my house. He crossed the line. He knew what the risk was when he came to my fucking house. Like I saw in Florida the other day, a peeping Tom was looking through the window at this guy's wife. He went outside. He beat his ass. The guy died. And he's getting arrested for manslaughter. Why the fuck am I getting arrested? That dude knew what the risk was when he came doing what he was doing. Yeah, you're talking about that no, guy, too, fun. that he beat up that guy because he was looking over his daughter's stall when she was using the bathroom. Yeah, and he died. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like, what do you do as a father? Ask that judge or police officer. What would you have done, judge? What yeah. would you have done, Mr. Officer, what if that was your little girl? That wrong way, you know what I mean? It could be just that one hit that hits the person the wrong mm. way. And that's it. I feel like you shouldn't have to pay for defending yourself. You're already hurting. Somebody comes in, does something like that. You're already hurting. Like, I don't give a fuck if you're outside my house. If you had the balls to come into the house and I have to chase you, they say, oh, stop chasing them if they run out of your house. Nah, bro. I'm going to get you. And I'm going to drag you all the way back to the fucking house as I pistol whip you and slap you <laughs> and talk shit to you all the way to the house and then have the cops come. Nah, bro. I might well, keep you in the basement for a week. When it comes, nah. when it comes to that, bro, like, if, listen, man, you, you got you to gotta be ready for... For whatever it is that you're 
you're getting into in life. In other words, yeah. if you want to be a jack boy, hey, just know that consequences come with that. Yeah. You might not you might not make it back home at all that night. Yeah. Fuck going to jail. You might not make it back home, period. You know what I'm saying? And and the person in that house has every fucking right to defend themselves and their property and their family exactly. from your dumbass running in there and taking anything. My question you know is like, my question is for everybody that's watching this and for the Americans, you know, <laughs> that what if you get shot at? Are you going to shoot back? Yeah. What if you get shot at? Are you going to shoot back? Of course. It's in human instinct. What if you don't have a gun? Then you, you lay low. You, you lay low you die. Then, if you huh? don't have a gun, or you, you might die. Shot, like, yeah, you yeah, die. You get, that's the consequences of not having a gun. That's the point. You know that what that's the point up? that we're trying to make. Yeah. Do you remember? We, I want to. I want to go back now that we're on the guns topic. I recently yeah. told Ivy this when we talk, talked about uh, Florida being, you know, you didn't need a license to carry. That's not in effect. You know what that's called? That's called un, um, constitutional carry. Mm -hmm. And a certain amount of states have them. Florida's not one yet. But constitutional carry means that you don't have need a license permission or nothing slip. or permission. So you just carry it because it's the Second Amendment right That's to bear right. arms. Exactly. But it, it is the Second Amendment right, man. Like, like that. But they should have that in every state. I feel like. Why is it only some states? Why? Why don't they just run it across the board? Because it's on the Constitution. You see what I'm saying? Why are those states like, yes, yeah, so your constitutional right? That's cool. No, no why but, can't we do it? But why they do it. Oh, York but they it? bring the tobacco age to uh to 21. That's more important. Oh, but they want to go and send these kids to war at 18. Yeah, facts. You can't smoke a cigarette, but go go risk your life. Yeah, and and die for this country. But you can't smoke a cigarette. That's Fuck heavy. you, Uncle Sam. That's heavy, bro. Cause that's yeah. true. Like fuck that's super here. true. They need to put the age of 21 and up then to enlist in the army and in the, any kind of military rank. Real talk. Because if, if you're going to send some kids that you say, oh, you can't smoke because we're going to look out for you and we're going to be your mommy. Don't smoke. But here, sign here. We'll give you $1,000 for your life and you can go die at war or come up fucked up. But it's because it's, it's a lot easier to manipulate <laughs> a, a, young. A, a young kid that's full of fucking... You know, and wants to just prove himself. He's just full of pride the and world. full of himself, and just wants to go prove that he's he's a badass. And he feels like that's the one way that you could do it. Is but just he comes going back fucked up, bro. I've had way too many family members come back from like yeah, you know, bro. Like people making people memes. Pe people up. making memes and think yeah, it's funny. Memes. Yeah, that's man, what, that's, that's actually next topic, that's a good yeah. segue that into the next topic. Yeah, because this meme shit with the World War Three. Yeah, that's like every everything is not a joke, bro. Like it's not funny, man. There's people out there that. Are really not coming back. Yeah, there's some. There's a situation that's going on right now. That's it's a very serious situation, and people aren't gonna come back. This is beyond it's our control. It's people's yeah. lives. You gotta understand that we're so blessed to not have war in our homeland, and it's not okay. There's gonna be families over there that are dealing with this war. It's not just the bad people, quote unquote, whatever you want to call them, because at the end of the day, we're just casualties of something that's bigger than us. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So posting these memes. It's funny, like, okay, like, I seen one that's like, oh, had this guy going, bop, 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 this is how I'm going to be when, when, the, when the World War Three whatever, they bust in through my door. Yeah, you're laughing and posted that meme. You, you, I'm talking to you, the motherfucker who made that meme. Yeah. You made that. You think it's fucking funny, you piece of shit. But at the end of the day, it's not going to be funny when they're like, you got to go to war. What if that's your dad or you your gotta brother? You got to go to war. Go kiss your mom. Go kiss your dad. You're going yeah. to war. And you can sit there and anybody can write in the comments like, oh, I'll be ready. I'll be ready if they said there was a draft. But you're not. Nobody can say they'll be ready. Nobody's ready for if war. If you was ready, you'd be ready now. Yeah. You'd be in the military Volunteer now. Ready to now. go. It wouldn't, it, it not everybody's wouldn't be... cut for that. I'm not. My brother, he is. Shout out to him. He's he's been a military man his whole you know career. Yeah, since shout got out, out of to high the school. military guys. Don't yeah. think that we're you know what I'm saying. Yeah, shout yeah. out to the people not, that are out there. Yeah, we got risking friends. their life because if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be able to li yeah. live the lives. We wouldn't that be we able have. to say the shit we say. Fact. If we were in, in some other country, we'd probably be killed for half of the stuff we say. Yeah, we're in spoiled. China, we'd be killed for fucking smoking weed. Yeah, so we gotta be grateful that we we live in a country where we at least have that. That type of freedom, you know what I'm saying? Look like, at North Korea, man. Like you can't even do anything. You can't even have the same haircut as the leader. If not, you you gon' like that's real. crazy, that's right? right? That's, that's right. Wild. Shout out to King John Un for not letting people, you know, steal his swag. Yeah. <laughs> he said yeah, only I can have this haircut. You'll be put to death. You steal this swag. <laughs> he he, said, you you swag. can't have this type of fade. You'll drown off this way. The King Jung swag. Yeah, yeah. you'll drown off this way, <laughs> bro. <laughs> too much drip. Too much fucking <laughs> swag. <laughs> he swag. He's out. on the wave. Swag out. Hold on. Hold on. Shout out to Dennis Rodman. 
Yo, I actually met him. Dennis the first Rodman? time I met Dennis Rodman. That's Love actually you. crazy. I swear to God. That's his BFF, bro. I they met I met him at Corona. I met really? him. Yeah, he smelled like piss and fish. Damn. I don't understand. Why would he smell like piss and fish? I don't That's understand either. And he bought That's a, a weird combination, <laughs> man. Where the fuck was this guy? <laughs> nah, he bought a fucking... He was with a little entourage. I don't know. It was weird. A but uh, he bought a Monte Cristo. It was like $12 cigar. And it's I would not, have smacked that shit out of his hand. I'm like, bro, it's a twelve dollars cigar, you know. It's he had his sunglasses <laughs> on, like it was, but it was nighttime. It was like two in the morning. He was like coked out. That's yeah, that nigga was fucked up. Motherfucker looked weird. Drunk. Let me get light. But yeah, God bless your heart. <laughs> I don't know where yeah. I got this sunflower, fucking. Nah, but it's yeah, super gay. man. It is. We're gonna go ahead. And, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and go into the next subject, uh, which is something I, I wanted to talk about, which was a uh, shicey promoters. Um. Oh, yeah, with, with the baby? Yeah, man. There was a situation that happened with the baby where, you know, a promoter told him he would pay him $30,000. Allegedly, this is all allegedly, um, he told him he would pay him $30,000, and, you know, he ended up paying him twenty. So, you 20. know, the baby and his crew felt like they had to run his pockets, and they ran his pockets. And when they did, <clears throat> allegedly... They ended up taking eighty thousand dollars from the guy, and a few other miscellaneous, you know, objects. But my thing with that situation is, I'm with the baby and his crew. I'm with them. I'm I'm with uh, any I'm with uh, doing the right thing. I'm with anybody that's not gonna let somebody disrespect them. One thing you do, you don't fuck with somebody's money, or girl, or it's Fact. children. That's Money, women, and children are, all you gotta, limits. are off limits. Because you fuck with somebody. You can't say what somebody's going to do. Because when you fuck with, like, in my situation, if you fuck with my money, then you're fucking with my kids' roof over their heads, with the food that's going into their mouths, because you are fucking Big with my facts. money. So I'm going to react a little different. Exactly. I'm going to stomp your fucking face out just exactly. to prove a point. Like, yo, how are you going to put my kids in this situation? And then it's not yeah. just that. It's it's the message that you're sending to anybody else lined up that's willing to do the same thing to There's you. There's a risk. It's like, listen, you saw what just happened to the last dude. Don't disrespect me like that. Because it could be civil. We could keep it professional. Yeah. It could be a, It's up to you. It's your choice. We could keep it professional. That's but right. at the end of the day, I don't I, I don't agree with people like bashing the baby, bro. I feel like he was in the right. Yeah. You know, whether he handled the situation right baby, or not. Baby. Hey, that's up to your own personal opinion. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah. in my personal opinion... I would have ran that motherfucker's pockets too. You told me to be here for thirty grand. You gave me twenty, and then when I run your pockets, you got another eighty grand. Yeah, the, the baby road. was nice. So I would have left him butt naked on the side of the you road. You were bro. just drunk. like he he <laughs> poured some apple juice on him after they beat him up. You know what I'm saying? You're lucky that's all he fucking did. Then piss on you. Niggas die for for less pro- than that, bro. The promoter, you know the promoter like, probably fucking did it to Drake. He probably did it to a couple and of that's, people. That that's the point. It's like how I mean? many other people did that happen to where they didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got to set facts. that line. You got to draw that That's line. In the Probably did it to Big Sean, that little ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Damn, but, get it off your chest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Big Sean, yeah. Nigga. Yeah. Yo, Big Sean's underrated. Nah, he Shout is. out to he Big is. Sean. Yeah, because shout out to Big Sean. He don't get the respect he, he deserves. He got bars. His lyrics are crazy. He got yeah. His pen game is on point for sure, for, for real. sure. I fucks with Big Sean. But yeah, man, that was just a topic I wanted to bring up real, real. quick. Because it was, it was just bothering me, you know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, yeah, that's man. crazy. Yeah. Yo, I want to shout out. How about shout out Disney Plus? Oh, yeah, yeah. How many of you are watching Disney Plus? Do you remember that spoiled cousin you go to his house? He had all the VHSs on it, all the Disney movies. <laughs> yeah. Now I have that all on my phone, on an app. Nah, for real. Times I've been watching changing, Disney bro. Princess movies for the last, since that dropped. That's all my daughter's <laughs> been wanting to watch. Moana, shout out to Moana, best Disney Princess movie. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. <laughs> you don't judge Word. it until you watch that movie. The visuals. The message in the movie, yo, it's beast. Disney yo, that's, is a, just that's a beast. the thing that Disney does a lot. They send a lot of messages in movies. A lot of and everybody ones. dies. Somebody dies in a movie. A lot of creepy yeah, ones, too. But it teaches true. kids about death and how to cope. Yeah. Yeah. Teaches them about life and death. Because I told her in Moana, her grandma dies. Lion King, the dad dies. You know, there's so many movies in Disney where the parents die. You're like, but? But it's a natural part of life. It's a natural part of life. Everybody wants to... You know, yeah. push that thought aside, but it's like, yo, we all have a day, my G. Yeah, the right. day that we're born, we're sentenced to death. You That's know what I'm saying? That was deep. I'm going to tattoo that. I'm going to oh. tattoo it. Right, on, right, on, right here. No, my tailbone. Tailbone. I'm a, yeah, right next to John's Tramp face Sam. that I have here. 
<laughs> Yo, speaking of tattoos, I'm getting my first one next week. Yeah, shout out to John. Shout out to John. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to show it off. Yeah. I'm going to show it off. You know what I mean? So, next next episode, you guys You're going to get the sun around the belly button? Yeah. I'm going to get a little sun. It's going to look official. It's going to look official. I'm going to get the tribal. The little, the little, yeah. little <laughs> tramp stamp wings, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's going to look official, though. So. Yeah. You know the little bows around the legs? Established in 1996. <laughs> you know those little bows? Oh, yeah. the cat ones on the cat. Yeah. Yes. You're going to look hot with those. Yeah. Shout out to you. You're going to look hot with those. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, how about uh, Lincoln oh. Park, uh, Chester Benningfield's widow? Bro. Yeah, go ahead, John. Oh, bro. Also, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's kind of crazy, man, because he ended up killing himself. I don't know if you guys know. Rest in peace to him. Yeah. Rest in peace yeah. to you him. You know, that guy's a legend, man. Our condolences go out to the family. He's a legend, man. Uh, But yeah, supposedly... He ended up uh, was having problems with his wife and shit. I, I guess so. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I mean, it looks kind of obvious, you know. But um, <laughs> but yeah, know. I mean, that's all he made was like love songs and all that bullshit, you know. Yo, Lincoln Park was in it, bro. the end. It Yo, doesn't Park. even matter. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. <laughs> but John was like two when that song came yeah, out. Yeah, man. Shout out to him. His feelings for <laughs> a nah, second. Nah, in bro. the end, get it off your chest, yeah. bro. Nah, but boy. his wife started. Uh, I guess I just saw it on on an article right now. It says that uh, his wife got remarried on their anniversary. Wow. Yo, that's some tramp shit. Shady. Yeah. You are. You're gonna a disrespect piece me? Of shit. Yeah. If Listen, the zombie man. apocalypse came back, I'd come and kill you. If you had, if you had your differences with your spouse, have your differences. But bro, y'all got kids, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Your kids are watching, bro. Yeah, and you their kids are older, like, right? They're old enough to know. Like, oh. yo, what the fuck? Dad just died, and you just got this dude, dude. Uh, you and know you what? Marry him on the At the list. end. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't oh. even matter, bro. Oh, Damn. oh, John, you went there, <laughs> bro. That was that was deep. Yo, can we snap? Where's my snappers? That no. was deep. That was that was deep, and at the same time disrespectful. Yo. But I yeah. liked it. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah. That was goes, fucked up. I had to think about that. Was, yeah. That was just simple. It's that true. was facts. That no, was but facts. it's facts though. It doesn't. Even I'm gonna tattoo that one. I don't know where, but tell me where I should tattoo that one. At the end, it doesn't really. Or maybe here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe across like, nah. Maybe a paragraph under my eye. At the end, it doesn't real something it like doesn't that. Doesn't even matter. Like my cheek might be big enough. Hmm. No, for real, for real. Oh man. But yeah, man. Let's uh, talk about miracles, man. Yeah, there's there's a few miracles that have gone on uh, lately, and one of them that I wanted to talk about was uh was this family that was uh I don't I wouldn't say blessed. I mean, yeah, I would say blessed, man. It is a blessing, you know. Uh, they won 1.6 million, I think, or 2.6 million, off of um, off of the lottery three days after their son was diagnosed with cancer. You know, blessings what I mean? on blessings on blessings. That that is a blessing. That's not a coincidence. And you know what I'm saying? That family was blessed for whatever reason they were blessed for. But it's that's bittersweet because they get terrible news, but at the same time. Who knows? It could have been they Buddha. Get they get the peace of mind that you, you know what I mean? Like, financially, you'll be able to handle the situation. Yeah, you know what I mean? that like, gives you peace of mind. It could bro. have been Buddha. It could have been Jesus. Allah. <laughs> whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever your thing is. The yeah, universe. Whatever, higher power whatever is, you want to make it yeah. to you, but there was a blessing. There was definitely a blessing. It could be a flying pig. I don't know. It could be anything. I don't, I don't you know, know. John's superstitious. You know, he's, nor- he's from animals. Norway. I don't know how y'all rolled over there, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen, man. That's. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and move on. To we're gonna we're just gonna talk about tattoos and babies. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's a pretty tattoos good tattoos versus babies tattoos right and now. babies. Tattoos and babies. That's the next song. I feel like tattoos win. Tattoos over song? babies. Tattoos and snap no snapbacks and tattoos. Snapbacks. Yeah, and tattoos. one hit wonder. Who yeah. even sung that? Yo, after like two weeks, that shit was done. That was like Laffy Taffy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in high yeah, school. Shout out to that. Nah, Ooh, man. Ooh. But yeah, man. <laughs> tattoos versus babies. And babies. You know, people, yeah. people look down at people that have like tattoos. Right. Like a yeah. lot. Bro, when I first started my, my first job here in Florida, the ladies like all oh, southern lady, like we love. Uh, uh, it's so such a blessing that you're here, you know. And she's like, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to cover your tattoos up. What? Some customers might. And I'm like. <laughs> Really? And then, like, customers would be like, why are you, are you wearing that or covering up like that? I'm like, because I have to cover my tattoos. They're like, why? It's I'm like, and he has a yeah. And I'm just like, bro, 
And then I went to the next job. Next, I worked at a dealership, went to Toyota, and I was told the dude, I was like, what about my tattoos? He's like, hey, he's like, hey man, I don't judge people by tattoos. He's like, you're Good. cool. I'm like, what? So Good. fuck you to, um, what was her name? Fuck, I, I need to shout her out real quick. No. What, what was her name? Damn. Shout out to you, though. Nah, man. Bitch. People be, people be talking about, oh, Honda. like. Yo, man, be careful, you know, getting a tattoo, bro. It's, yeah, for, the re- it's, it's, it's forever. It's, it's for the rest of your life. Okay, so what about your kid? That so are you, that you did? Yeah. Some of them. Facts. Some of them. Some of them. Facts. But you out there putting your what pee about pee the, what about anything that walks. What about the kid that you didn't plan for? Isn't that for the rest of your All life? All of That's mine, fair. because I don't think too many people really plan for them unless you get your life together. Yeah. I don't plan kids. Nah. I got caught off guard. It's like, babe, I'm pregnant. Whoa. <laughs> Was it mine? That was my first question, but as far as I know, they are. There's there's one that's really dark, but I believe he's still mine too. Well, speaking speaking about babies, uh, just kidding. Meek Mill supposedly is getting uh twins. Hey, bro! Shout out to Meek Mill. To yeah, Meek Mill, shout out man. to Meek Mill. Twins. For real, I know he already, he already got kids and shit, but twins, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, we thought one of our kids, we thought Lexi was gonna be a twin, and they were Word. like, oh, we don't know, there might be two. I was like. Oof. Lord, why would you do this to me? Don't, <laughs> don't send two babies at one time, please, Lord God, no. please, Jesus, I'll do anything you want, Lord, please. I'll stop sending yeah. tonight. I'll stop smoking. I won't curse no more. I promise. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, you know what having one kid is? One baby. My my parents, parents that are out there, you guys know what having a child is. Imagine getting two at the same damn time, or the same one, two newborns. Bah, two diapers. Bah, two babies waking up at three a.m. crying. Boom, mm. two babies gassy. Boom. Mm. Mm. And you better hope it's two babies waking up at three. Yeah? Imagine one will wake up at one, and one will yeah. wake up at three. Ooh. Then another one will wake and then you up work at, at seven. six. Yeah, nah, mm. I ain't doing none of that shit. That's no. why I, never. I got. I got to be rich. Never. They giving paternity you know, leave now at work. Shout out to those states that are giving dads paternity leave, just like moms giving maternity leave. I know this is a grown folk topic. But I feel like the dads need to be there as much as the moms do when the baby's first born to help. The Listen, mom, because the moms are fucked up. They're they just both, got ripped apart. They're both just uh. as important, bro. Yeah, they're bro. Both C-sections. Just as important. Yo, C-sections. Ain't and at the joke. end of the day, why why is it that, you know, the woman gets to spend, like, the most, you know, special time of the baby's li- like, yeah. life with them, and the guy has to be at work? Like, I don't get that shit. Like, yeah. That should be. That's why they changed it, because it's just as yeah. important for the child. Shout yeah, out to all my males being fathers out there. Yo, shout out. Salute. Shout and out. fuck you to the piece of shit dads out there. No, for real, for real. Yo, remember that banana that sold for, uh, <laughs> what was it, $120,000? Yeah, yeah, it was like taped grand. on the wall. What about that tuna? Wouldn't you say yeah, something bro, about there that was tuna? A, there yeah. was a tuna that sold for, uh, I think it was like $1.8 million. Come, and, um, that is the most expensive pussy anybody's ever bought. <laughs> yeah, bro, tuna and t- <laughs> in, in the front. <laughs> I got it, man. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it. I looked at him and he looked, I, we made eye contact. Yeah, we and did. We locked eye yeah, we and did. then he got it and he laughed. And yeah. like there was a shine around his face. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, yeah for real, bro. But yeah, man. He a said, fucking God bless. tuna. That shit weighed, I think it was like 608 pounds. Jesus. Wow. Crazy shit. They're going to feed like. Uh, I weighed more than my ex girlfriend. 1.8 million. I don't. <laughs> 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 I, yo, I feel like I hey, said they hey, got hey, shout out Hey, the big girls need some loving, girl Yeah, you know what big saying? girls need don't love cha- too, Don't change your bro. oil, they'll scrub your feet This what? nigga is a dick Where did you get that from, bro? He said they'll change your oil and scrub your <laughs> nah, I was feet kidding. I'm just kidding You know who told me that? Ivan Shout out Ivan, he told me that <laughs> <laughs> Ivan's a dick Shout yeah. out Ivan, though He, he said he'll change your oil <laughs> 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 Big girls need loving Nah, nah, nah. Nah, that is a fact, though, nah, bro. That's true, though. That's, a, no, that's, a, that's another topic of shit, though, that we could talk about. Embarrassing stories, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, I don't got embarrassing stories, I don't, bro. I'm I swagged don't really out. either, you know what I'm saying? John does. He's John, like, I, I, I have it. Nah, nah, nah. It's always me, bro. I'll tell you that. It's always me. <laughs> How so about if you tell guys want to know about the story and we judge it? Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. I like judging. It's an awesome I'm story. Super judgmental. It's very funny. I can laugh at it now and look back, but you know, maybe two years ago at that he very was moment, fucking pissed. bro, I wanted to take my car and drive it off the bridge. And you <laughs> know which bridge I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not from Florida, but you know, the big one. 
<laughs> well, the not gonna say no do, names cause... the big one wouldn't do you any good <laughs> yeah. the big one's the only way go big or go home just know if you're driving off it you ain't coming back you're done Yeah. let's but... not give people ideas we don't condone driving off a nah but anyways I used to work for Verizon right guys <laughs> Damn, that's all and it was is. it was a call center and <laughs> and I had one of my buddies shout out Justin Vega he's the one that got me hired there <laughs> and it was hilarious, man, because we were working. He was actually my boss. He was one of my leads. So I actually worked. There was different teams that we had to work for, right? So I worked for his squad. Me and him were having a conversation about some of the chicks that were really hot in there. I actually was talking to one. You know, it was we had sexual relations and stuff like that. <laughs> Guys, don't do that. Don't have sex with your coworkers. It's a bad idea. Yeah, facts. And facts. yeah, because after the, after this happened, it we never spoke again because everybody knew. <laughs> So uh, I wonder why. Yeah. So anyways, me and my buddy are actually talking about, you know, just females. And I was like, man, she has a nice ass, you know, a nice, a nice fucking booty. You know what I mean? Like I'm saying all this beautiful stuff. He's like a booty. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, he says he, you she know? got a nice ass. She got a nice booty. I'm just saying all this beautiful yeah. stuff, you know? Yeah. You know, some was really inappropriate. Beautiful. Some was really cool. You know, really nice. <laughs> but anyways, you shouldn't be talking like that in a work environment, you know, especially about your own Fresh coworker. So I was on the phone. Well, I actually didn't know I was on the phone. I left a um, kind of like a voicemail. Well, I guess the customer heard it hung up and I kept talking. And it like kind of made a voicemail, and I kept talking to one of my coworkers oh, about. Oh, is a recording machine yeah. from 1995? No, we were calling people on their cell phones. So I left people. It could have been anybody. It yeah, could have yeah. been. It could have been a lawyer. It could have been. It could have been anybody. They got it wasn't a lawyer. You know, and I left a voicemail of just how this chick looked and how you know, and I want the banger and just a real sexual predator type, like a yeah. Because yeah. there was multiple females we were talking Bro, about. Real Ted Bundy. Real Ted Bundy. You know, not just one, just he multiple. Was being a complete. Pervert, creep. Yeah, that's what the fuck. He <laughs> you was know what doing. I mean? So <laughs> we're just gonna tone it down. You know. Right? <laughs> Next thing you know, I go to lunch. I come back and I see a dude like stare me down, like, like he's fucking pissed. And I'm like, God damn! I hope he's not pissed at me. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, damn it. So, anyways, just a quick, just to wrap it up, I just wanna let you guys know I left a voicemail on there. They heard it. Okay, so they fired me. I drove off because I was so pissed. I went 100 miles an hour, and I got pulled over. I'm talking to Hector on the phone while I'm, I'm telling him the story while I got fired. And yeah, that's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. I got a ticket, $300 ticket, and I got fired in the same day, in the same hour. No, I would have played the lotto that day. Something Jesus. had to give. Yeah. I mean, with going that bad, the only way you could go was up. So I would have just played the lottery yeah. right after I got the Nah, shit could have went yeah. way But everybody knew. Everybody, everybody didn't ask me what happened. They already knew what happened. They're like, fuck, damn. They got my name. Oh, my God. Like, that uh, was one of the funniest phone calls I'd ever gotten in my fucking life. You know? But yeah, but yeah man. Fucking, uh, that's yeah, pretty that, much. That's been the embarrassing story yeah. of the day, man. Yeah. Nothing for crazy. For um, but, uh, but yeah, thumbs up, guys, if you think yeah. that was fucking funny. Because I thought it was. Well, now, but not before. But. <coughs> No, for real. But yeah, man, we, pores, bro. Uh, we've been back with another episode. We appreciate whoop. everybody that came back again and yeah. rocked with us. You know what I'm saying? Lit up and sparked up and just vibe with the crew. You know what I mean? Bet. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Hit the uh, notification bell so you stay updated when we drop some content. And um, yeah, let your friends know. That there's going to be a giveaway at a 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. Just and, let us um, know. Let us know what you want, don't man. Don't be shy. Yeah. No, everybody wants something. People are, people are like, I'm not going to be that person. You know what? I want you this. know what we should do? We should get some Yeezys. You know, everybody likes Yeezys. I, I personally do. You got a pair. Maybe we shouldn't. But then we that might, limits, we might have... that puts people in a box. So what size? Yeah, yeah but, that's, yeah, but they, that's we'll pick somebody out, and then they give us their information, and then we'll send it to them. Yeah, that True. we could do something like that. Like a but raffle. Yeah, if you look, wow, killed our ass.